at the moment um, I'm currently uh, tying sheep's fleece onto newly planted uh, saplings around the forest garden as part of the hedge around the forest garden. The idea is that the sheep's fleece deters the deer from eating them, the trees, because deer don't like the smell of sheep and it's probably not very pleasant to eat fleece anyway. Um, the wool we get is from a local crofter. It's not worth anything. It's not like it's not worth the farmer to sell it for money. Um, so this is quite a good use of it. It's uh, saving us money and protecting the trees, as well as being a biodegradable product. It's if it works, then it's, it's, it should be good, and it's it's being investigated commercially by the Forestry Commission as well, and and, and other companies to like extracts of, of sheep's fleece for tree protection so as there's obviously something to it if, the, if those guys are looking into it so it, here in my sprayer backpack I've got um, some trico deer repellent um, which is essentially sheep's fat it's sort of made of lanolin and deer don't like that at all so we're going to try um, and spray some of that in this area. So we've divided this sort of square of trees up into nine plots um, and three of them in three of these sort of areas will spray the trees with trico deer repellent and in another three plots we'll tie bits of sheep's wool to the trees to see if that has the same effect of putting the deer off and then, then in the other remaining three we'll just leave with no treatment at all and then we're going to measure all the trees and then come back and measure them again at the end of the year and see if, if, if it's had any effect and whether the deer maybe don't like browsing these ones as much as the untreated ones or, or if it doesn't have an effect at all, we'll see.